Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we are going to take up the MCQs based on today's newspaper of The Hindu and Indian Express, which are important from UPSC Prelims exam perspective. The topics for today's discussion are listed on your screen. Before moving on to the discussion, we have one announcement for you. The Prelims Compass magazine for 2023 is available now and the links for the same is being provided in the description. And you can also access the magazines on our Telegram channel whose link has also been provided in the description box. These magazines can help you in enriching your understanding regarding the basic topics and the current events which are happening in the country and across the world. It will help you in scoring well in the prelims exam which is going to be conducted on 28th May 2023. The first MCQ of today's discussion is based on this news which has appeared on page number 1 in The Hindu. The context of this news is that the government of India plans to hold its next G20 engagement group meeting in Leh and Srinagar this month. And there is a mention of this particular organization which is named as Organization of Islamic Cooperation in this particular article. And UPSC has previously asked many questions on international organizations and bodies and the details associated with those particular organizations. Which makes this area important for our discussion. In 2020, UPSC has asked this particular question. In this question, you need to identify out of these countries which are the members of organization of Turkic states. And on the similar lines, we have framed one practice MCQ which says, consider the statements regarding organization of Islamic cooperation. In this question, you need to identify the correct statements. The first statement says, it is an intergovernmental organization with headquarters at Baghdad. The organization of Islamic cooperation is an intergovernmental organization which was founded in 1969. But its headquarters located at Jeddah, which is in Saudi Arabia and not in Baghdad, which makes this statement incorrect. The second statement says, it is the second largest organization after United Nations. It is a correct statement as Organization of Islamic Cooperation has a membership of 57 states spread over 4 continents. Hence, it is a correct statement. The last statement says, it endeavors to safeguard and protect the interest of Muslim world in the spirit of promoting international peace. It is again a correct statement because it is the mandate of Organization of Islamic Cooperation and this organization is a collective voice of Muslim world which makes this statement correct. And the answer to this question becomes C which is 2 and 3 only. And the answer to the previous year question is also C which is 2 and 5 because only Azerbaijan and Uzbekistan is the members of Organization of Turkic States and other three countries are not the members. Moving on to the next question which is based on this particular news which has appeared on page number 8 in The Hindu. This article talks about the changing foreign policy of Saudi Arabia and it says Saudi Arabia has been following an assertive foreign policy in order to extend its influence in West Asia. And the major focus of Saudi Arabia's changing foreign policy is on Iran and Syria. UPSC has the habit of asking location based questions on the countries and water bodies which frequently comes in news which makes this area important for our discussion. In 2017, UPSC asked this question and it says Mediterranean Sea is a border of which of the following countries. In this question you are being given 4 countries and you need to identify the correct answer by using the quotes given below. You can pause this video and try your hand on this. On the similar lines, we have framed one practice MCQ and it says which of the following countries share land boundaries with Saudi Arabia. The first one is Bahrain, second one is Iraq, the third one is Iran and the fourth one is Oman. In order to solve this particular question, you must be familiar with the world map and specifically with the map of Western Asia. Here you can see the map of Western Asia. Saudi Arabia is located here. And it shares the land boundary with UAE, Oman, Yemen, Jordan, Iraq, Kuwait. If you have gone through the map carefully, you could have easily solved this particular question. As we have seen in the map, Bahrain and Iran does not share land boundary with Saudi Arabia. And if we eliminate 1 and 3 from the options given below, we will reach the correct answer. And the correct answer to this question is C, which is 2 and 4. Because Iraq and Oman shares the land boundary with Saudi Arabia. And similarly, we can solve the previous year question in which you need to identify the countries which shares the border with Mediterranean Sea. 
and you can see jordan and iraq does not share border with mediterranean sea and if we eliminate 1 and 2 from the options you will reach the correct answer which is 3 and 4 only moving on to the next question which is based on this particular article which has appeared on page number 14 in the hindu this article says that ministry of textile came up with quality control orders for 31 technical textile items as textile is an important sector in indian economy and it plays a major role in providing employment to the labor force of the country upsc has previously asked a question on geo textiles which makes this area important for our discussion in 2020 upsc asked that in rural road construction the use of which of the following is preferred for ensuring environmental sustainability or to reduce carbon footprint in this question you are being given five options and you need to identify which of them are environmentally sustainable and on the similar lines we have framed one practice mcq which says that what are the main characteristics of technical textiles in this question you need to identify the correct statements the first statement says they are made from synthetic fibers such as polyester nylon polypropylene rather than natural fibers it is a correct statement because technical textiles predominantly utilize synthetic or man made fibers to achieve the desired properties which makes the statement correct the second statement says they are necessarily manufactured through 3d printing it is a extreme statement and a an incorrect one as the choice of manufacturing technique depends on the type of technical textile and they are not necessarily manufactured through 3d printing the third statement says they are used primarily in non clothing applications in various industries now it is a very generic statement and such statements are correct in most of the cases as technical textiles have specialized applications in various industries like automotive medical construction and aerospace so this statement is correct the fourth statement says national technical textile mission has been launched to develop biodegradable technical textile materials only now you should be careful when a statement contains the word only they are extreme statements and in majority of the cases they are incorrect and in majority of the cases they are incorrect and so is the case with this statement although the national technical textile mission focuses on developing biodegradable technical textiles but it also aims to promote the development of technical textiles in other industrial sectors which makes this statement incorrect the last statement says they provide functional benefits such as high strength to weight ratio conductivity durability etc it is again a correct statement because technical textiles provide functional benefits and enhanced performance such as high strength insulation filtration and conductivity which makes this statement correct and the answer to this question becomes c which is 1 3 and 5 only and the answer to the previous year question is a which is 1 2 and 3 only many of you must be aware that geo textiles are environmentally sustainable so it should be included in the answer and from this information we can eliminate the option c and option d now we are left with option a and option b and there are less chances that 2 and 4 goes together because one is saying cold mix asphalt technology and the other one says hot mix asphalt technology there are high chances that only one will be correct so if you go by this logic you will reach the correct answer which is option a the next question of today's discussion is based on this news which has appeared on page number 13 in indian express the context of this news is that odisha's postal department seeks cba probe into the fake certificate scam the context of this news is not important but the body which is mentioned here central bureau of investigation is important as far as our upsc prelims exam is concerned and in previous years we have seen many questions related to the government organizations in 2017 upsc asked about quality council of india in this question you are being given two statements and you need to identify the correct one the practice mcq in this regard says with reference to central bureau of investigation consider the following statements the first statement says it is a statutory body established under the provisions of central vigilance commission act 2003 it is an incorrect statement because cbi was set up in 1963 by the resolution of ministry of home affairs by the resolution of ministry of home affairs so it is not a statutory body the second statement says director of cbi is appointed by president on the recommendation of central council of minister it is again an incorrect statement after the enactment of lokpal and lokayukta act the central government shall appoint the director of cbi on the recommendation of three member committee which includes 
प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया लीडर ऑफ ऑपोजिशन ऑफ लोकसभा चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया और जज ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट विच मेक्स दिस स्टेटमेंट इन करेक्ट एंड द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन बिकम्स डी विच इज नी दर वन नॉट टू एंड द आंसर टू द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन इज सी विच इज बोथ वन एंड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस न्यूज विच हैज अपियर ऑन पेज नंबर फोर्टीन इन इंडियन एक्सप्रेस इट बेसिकली टॉक्स अबाउट द यूरोपियन स्पेस मिशन ऑन जुपिटर which focuses on the search for life forms beyond earth space missions are important and recurring theme in upsc prelims exam this area makes which makes this area important for our discussion in 2015 upsc asked about space crafts and the purpose for which they were designed in this question you need to identify which of the following pairs is or are correctly matched in this question you are being given four space missions and their purposes the first one is juice and the purpose which is written here is to explore jupiter's icy moon it is a correct pair because juice is a european space mission which is getting ready to begin its journey to three such potential places on the planet of jupiter and this mission is supposed to make observations of jupiter and three of its ocean bearing moons the second one is aquarius and the purpose is to study the atmosphere of mars it is an incorrect pair because aquarius is a mission by nasa for the observations of sea surface salinity and it is not related to mars the third one is veritas and it says to explore the surface and interior of venus it is a correct pair as it is a part of nasa's discovery program which studies the surface and interior of venus with new generation of scientific tools and the last one is dragonfly and it says to study the saturn's giant moon titan it is a correct statement dragonfly is again a nasa's mission which will fly around titan looking for origins and signs of life it is also a correct pair and the answer to this question becomes c which is 1 3 and 4 and the answer to the previous year question and the answer to the previous year question is b which is 2 and 3 only the last question of today's discussion is based on this news which has appeared on page number 14 in indian exp it basically talks about technology and education and it further says technology can help in democratization of education in the country and it helps in transforming india into a knowledge hub as education and policies related to education are important and recurring theme in upsc prelims exam so we should be aware about the education policies in india and in that regard government has came up with new education policy of 2020 which will transform the education sector in country in 2016 upsc asked about swayam which is an initiative of government of india aims at you are being provided with four options and you need to identify the correct one it is an easy question and you can solve it by applying common sensical approach the practice mcq says which of the following are the features of new education policy 2020 12 years of schooling with 3 years of pre schooling it is a correct statement because new education policy came up with new structure of schooling and it is 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 and in these 5 years the 3 years of pre schooling are included the second statement says implementation of two language formula in schools it is an incorrect statement because the education policy of 2020 focuses on three language formula and it includes the mother tongue of the region the third one is attaining foundational literacy and numeracy it is a correct statement because nep 2020 has one of the provision of setting up a national mission on foundational literacy and numeracy making the statement correct the last one is increasing gross enrollment ratio in higher education it is again a correct statement as the focus of new education policy is to achieve the gross enrollment ratio in higher education to 50% by 2035 the answer to this question becomes c which is 1 3 and 4 and the answer to the previous year question is d because swayam is an initiative which provides affordable and quality education to the citizens for free